Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I appreciate your time, thank you for watching. Today, I just figured I'd come out and we'll chat heart to heart uh, because I got a lot of people that uh, responded and commented and emailed on my Tulsi Gabbard video, which is what I wanted. I wanted people to think and I wanted to, to uh, elicit responses and to get people to understand what I meant. Uh, before I jump into that, I wanna thank the sponsor of today's video and that's Bullet Safe. Uh, Bullet Safe is made in the USA. You've seen me review their VP3 uh, bullet resistant vest. It's an NIJ level 3A tested and certified vest, which means it stops up to 44 Magnum. It's extremely lightweight and concealable, and it is on sale now. The normal price is $359.99. Uh, it's on sale right now for $299.97, and as a viewer of my channel, you're gonna get an extra 10% off by using code GADGET10. Link will be down in the description below. And if you want to watch my full video review of the VP3 vest, I'll pin it above here on the screen. Um, I wanted to, I'm gonna address some of the things that people uh, said to me, responded to me uh, about my video on Tulsi Gabbard. Now, if you haven't watched that, pause this one and click the link above. You're gonna watch that. I told people that I have serious doubts on how sincere Tulsi Gabbard is saying now that she is pro Second Amendment. And I listed out several reasons why, from her campaign as president to her voting record when she was a representative from Hawaii in the Capitol, uh, actually taking votes against the United States Constitution, uh, the right to keep and bear arms. Now, I do know that a lot of people came over to our side of the fence, if you will, to, to realize that. Uh, the Second Amendment is a valuable right, and people decided it's time to arm themselves, uh, which she might have done over the last couple of years with COVID and everything else going on in the country. Um, but what I say to people that I don't believe it because actions speak louder than words, I'm waiting for some actions from uh, Ms. Gabbard. And I have tagged her in a previous video. I'm going to try to get a to in touch with her to see if she wants to come on my channel. I don't, I, this channel, I'm a nobody. You know, she doesn't, she's a former congresswoman. She ain't going to want to talk to guns and gadgets, but uh, the offer's there if uh, any of her people are watching this. When I say that the, the American voters who vote with the Second Amendment in mind and in their heart, when I say they should pause and consider whether she is a wolf in sheep's clothing, I mean this. Yes, she's talking the talk. And I had a lot of people send me bits of her videos that she posted the day before I put my video out. She did an hour long podcast, which I watched and Steve Scalise was on it. It was a really good show. Um, but guys, you know, I could sit here and tell you uh, all kinds of facts about the New York Yankees and how storied their franchise is and the most World Series uh, victories in history. But that doesn't mean I am actually for uh, or backing or Move, looking to move the New York Yankees forward. Um, people walking by. Um, and I, I think it's the same here. Now, what do I, people have asked me like, what do you want her to do? You know, maybe she's changed her mind. And I said in the video, I fully agree. I'm watching this guy behind me here in this video, making sure he goes by. Okay. Um, what do I want to see for her to prove, to start, start proving to gun owners that she's for the second amendment? action is she working with any pro-gun uh, groups goa fpc i don't see her doing that i could be wrong i don't haven't seen it is she working the election's a couple days away it's tuesday is she working to stop anti-gun things like oregon uh they're they're uh 114 that they're looking to vote on uh is she looking to help pass pro 2a legislation Iowa, they're voting for a constitutional uh, amendment there to make sure that the Second Amendment is enshrined in their state constitution. Is she looking to stop any of the ATF bull that's going on, uh, talking about the frame and receiver rule that's being fought in court? Uh, those are the things I, as a, a, an activist, if you will, as a Second Amendment purist, as a constitutionalist, that's what I need to see from anybody who says that they're pro 2A because lip service is simply lip service. I can talk a great game, like I said, about the New York Yankees, uh, but I hate them. I think they suck because I'm from Boston. Uh, so it's a long story history, but just because I know facts and can spew off a good talk doesn't mean I'm pro New York Yankee. That doesn't mean Tulsi, Tulsi Gabbard is pro second amendment. 
Yes, she likes to shoot. Yes, she had a credible threat against her life. But you know what? She had that before she was a congresswoman and she still voted against Second Amendment rights. She still voted to infringe. So that's what I'm talking about. And I got a lot of hate mail from people who are definitely in the Tulsi Gabbard camp. And that's fine because I have a right to think my own way and to speak what I want. And this is my channel. And you have a right to believe everything she says. That's absolutely fine. I don't hate you for it. But if you're a Second Amendment person and we get a newcomer who is has celebrity status and has uh, a former Congress person status and they're saying, I'm for the gun rights, we need action. Is she working with any of the, her uh, former uh, cohorts in the in the you know the Capitol building? Is she working with anybody to try to make them realize that what they want to pass is 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 terrible? Uh, is she working to stop groups like Bloomberg and Moms Demand Action and Every Time for Gun Safety? Is she talking with Gabby Giffords to make her realize that she's out of her mind? And then there's that whole World Economic Forum part. Um, so there's a lot to this, guys and gals, and that's where this is coming from my heart. This is how I feel, and if you don't feel the same way, that's fine. But keep it on your mind when somebody comes into our community and says, hey guys, I'm with you, when they have done nothing but fight against us their entire career. Now, some people say, well, she's from Hawaii. What do you want her to do? Really? If you have to ask me that, you might want to watch the first video again because I proved uh, her voting record. I proved her campaigning issues. You know, Maybe, maybe I'm wrong. And I, I, I said it. She absolutely could have switched. People switch their viewpoint all the time. But prove it to, to us. Prove it. Guys and gals, let me know what you think about this little heart-to-heart -heart here. It's a beautiful day here in New England, in Massachusetts. It is the 5th of November, and it's like 75 degrees out. Uh, I know we'll pay. This is my last winter here in New England, so I know it's going to be a, a, a crappy one. Uh, but until we see each other again, be safe, stay vigilant, and carry a gun to keep you, your friends, your family, your community safe. And do something to further the Second Amendment. Talk to your family, your neighbors, your friends. Doesn't matter what political party they are. Take people to the range. Teach people how to protect themselves. Teach people the value of being their own first responder. That's how we win. And I know we can do it. Uh, and if you, want the in, if you want the news every single day here on this channel, subscribe to the channel down below. Like the video, share the video. Those things actually make a huge difference on how YouTube treats videos on their platform. And uh, also, if you've made it to the end of this, let me know if you'd be interested in a uh, members-only type live stream once a week, maybe with the ability to do some giveaways there. Because I know this, this stupid comments uh, trying to, ooh, you won something. I will never give anything away in my comment section, guys. But I'm thinking about doing some giveaways to members. If you were interested, interested in that, let me know. Um, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care, y'all.